Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS Question and Association series. In today's question, we'll see how to increase the special resolution of Landsat 8 data using QGIS. In previous videos, I have already shown how to increase the special resolution using ArcGIS. If you didn't watch this video, you can visit Vikas Gadamod channel and you can watch this video how to increase the special resolution of Landsat 8 data from 30 meter to 15 meter. So the same thing we are going to do today in QGIS. So here, if you'll see, I have the Landsat 8 data in that there is different bands are there. If you want to know how many bands are there or what is the special resolution, so you can check in the Google that you will get that in the Landsat 8 data, there are total 11 bands are there. And if you'll see the resolution, this is the special resolution. So this is 30 meter special resolution up to seven band. And band number eight is a 15 meter resolution. So using this band, that is a panchromatic band, we can increase the resolution of this 30 meter into 15 meter. So how to do that, that we're going to learn today. So for that, you need to download this Landsat 8 data from the UHS Earth Explorer. I will give the link in the description box how you can able to download the data set. So after downloading this, we are going to convert this. So you can add this data. I will just discard this. Okay. So how to add the Landsat data, just go to layer add layer, add raster layer. So you need to go to desired location where you have kept your data. Okay, so I have kept my data here and I will take the band. So I'll take the eight bands here. Okay, so the B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7 and B8. So just click on the open, add and close. So here you can able to see the resolution. If I'll zoom it here, Okay, any particular place if I zoom, you can able to see. Okay, so you can able to see this in 30 meter. If I'll click here, you can able to see this in 15 meters. So this is crop pattern, the systematic crop pattern you can able to see. In the 30 meter, we could not able to visualize it. But if I'll check in the 15 meter, it is very easy to visible. So if I'll right click and go to properties, Okay, you will see the band number seven. As we discussed, this is 30 meter resolution. So up to band one, two, if you check any band resolution from one to seven, you will see that there is a 30 meter resolution. Okay, and band number eight resolution is 15 meter resolution. Okay, so what we can able to do, we'll just create a band composite from one to seven band. And we'll use the band eight to increase the special resolution. So I'll just go to raster. Okay. In the miscellaneous, there is an option built virtual raster. So just click on the built virtual raster. And here is the option input layers. Just click there and select this band sequentially. Band one, band two, band three, band four, band five, six, and seven. So up to seven band we have to select. Just click on OK. Then the resolution I want highest, then click here, place each input files into separate bands. And here I need to save this file. So I'll just click on the save file. So I have created a one folder in the workshop that is a band composite. I will save here. That is a new band composite. I'll just click on the save. Okay. So all the things we have added here and I will just click on the run option. And here is my band composite is created. So it is saying that finished. So I'll click on the close. I'll just uncheck this band number eight. You can able to see the band composite is created here. Okay. So right now what I will do, I'll just go to right click, go to properties and symbology. Here I will select a band 5, 4 and 3. Okay, apply and okay. So now this is the 30 meter resolution. Okay, if you will go to check the properties and information, you will see this, this is the 30 meter. Now we are going to convert this 30 meter into 15 meters. So just click on the processing toolbox and search here pan sharpening tool okay so this is the pan sharpening tool okay 
So in the pan sharpening, you just need to click on the pan sharpening and the spectral data set. Spectral data set is my this new band composite image and the pan chromatic band that is a band number eight. Okay, so this band number eight we need to select and output locations means where I want to save it. So just click on the folder, provide your location. I will click, I will add as a pan sharp. Just click on the save and just click on the run. So it is saying that pan sharpening is finished. I'll just click on the close. Just right click, go to properties and symbology. Same five, four, three, apply. Okay. So now this is not coming that much of clear image. What we'll do? We can just go by default. Okay. So just select it, new band composite and select a band 8. I will just go by default. So now my pan sharpening is completed. I will just click on the close. Right click, go to properties. Just select a band 5, 4, 3, apply, OK. So now we'll see the difference between both the images. So the previous and this one, I will uncheck the remaining files, which I don't want. So now this output file and this is the new band composite file. If I'll zoom on particular places, you can able to see this is, this area is in 15 meter. When I will check in 30 meter, you will see little bit differences there. Okay. So like also you can able to see this, if we'll check in the 30 meter, it is not able to visible the crop pattern very easily. So little bit, we can increase the resolution here. Okay. So here also if we'll check in the 15 meter, it is looking more clear than compared to 30 meter. If we'll right click, go to properties and information, you will check this is in 15 meter. We have converted 30 meter into 15 meter. This way very easily you can able to convert this 30 meter image into 15 meter image. Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment sections. Thank you.